Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino here. I'm standing with our 2021 Bronco Wild Track. You haven't seen this on the channel yet, and we'll go over it in a little bit more detail, but we wanted to get to the action. What is that exactly? We have a dyno video, zero to 60 testing with a draggy and Magnaflow exhaust sound clips. Uh, the Magnaflow Overland Series exhaust comes with a configurable pipe setup, uh, so you can tweak the sound, and we show you all that at the end. And we're also giving you guys one of those for free. What you need to do is this QR code that you see right here, when that pops up on the screen later, a different one, go ahead, pause the video, follow the directions on the screen, and if you're lucky, you might win the exhaust. Anyway, we're gonna get right to the action. This is the JB4 footage, and I'll tell you guys what, I was a little skeptical of how this was gonna go. In fact, I wasn't even there when it began. Rob stole my keys, and we went right into testing it, and then I joined Rob a little bit later. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll join you after the exhaust to go over all my thoughts on the dyno numbers, the exhaust, the zero to 60 numbers, and what's coming up next. Is that what we're expecting? Yeah, I expected like 250, so okay. we're right there. So we just finished up our baselines. Uh, this thing made 265 horsepower, 341 foot-pounds of torque, completely stock. That is a fifth gear. In my hand here, I have this little device called the JB4. Today, we're gonna be putting it to the test. We're gonna do a simple connection. It's only two connectors, really. You plug in the WD port, and we'll mess with it a little bit and uh, see what kind of power it actually puts out. All right, so I'm gonna do a basic quick install. I'm not gonna go crazy, just for testing purposes. We're just gonna plug it in real fast. This wire goes in the two port, plugged it in for me. So we're just gonna set it down on the hood for now just to see how it works. So there's two, one's a big connector, one's a small connector. The small connector goes to the front map sensor, which reads boost before the throttle body. It just jumpers in, plug in. Back one's in, right? And the big one right here, so this big one, goes to the back map sensor. This is what reads boost. Plug this one in. This is the front map sensor. The small connector is going to go in here in between the two and splice in. And the big connector is going to go in the map sensor in the back. This is the one that reads boost. This is the one pre throttle body. So once you have these two connectors in, we're ready to get started. But make a couple more bowls. Yeah. What map was that? This is one. one. Just back up and do it again. Let's do it again. I don't believe I am. I'm, I'm skeptical, so. Yeah. Alright. This thing's finally loaded. We're gonna go ahead and use base map one with the log. We're gonna go ahead and log it. Let's see what it makes. Man, it 
almost the same number. It was almost identical. Right now, it's a stock or stock. Right. Okay. And then we added the thing last pull, right? Is this 2-4? Yeah. That's not bad. That's a map one. Yep. Big torque. Big torque. Right. Uh, 30 torque. The horsepower gains aren't as good, but that's only map one. Well, so it's 91 octane. Let's try the other map. Map two, right? Yep. Ready gauges. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's see. That's uh, map two. That's 93 octane. Uh, map three, they want uh, E30. Well, if it's 28 to empty, they usually leave with a gallon. 28 is almost by two gallons. It's probably got three gallons in it. One gallon? So let's put one gallon in it. One gallon. That's my map. Uh, How do you feel about putting race gas in your brand new Bravo? Uh, that is not race gas. That is an E85 ethanol based green fuel that we use here at Bombers. That's a hybrid. Gotcha. <laughs> so we're changing it to MAP 3, which is 93, uh, and E30 to make it E30. So we put ethanol in it. All right. Less torque, but 301. All right, let's beat it. Beat it. Yeah. Let's put like another half gallon in. Just eyeball. Oh, it's right over top of the other one. I thought it was higher. It's exactly the same. It works? Yeah. What an increase. 54 foot pounds and 50 horsepower. That five. Not, no, we're, we're going up one at a time. It only goes up to map six. We're on map. This is the highest. This is the top map.
and that four is probably the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Unstrap it and get a drag in. Okay, we got 93 octane in the tank. It's filled up. Now we're at full weight. Roof's on everything, of course. This is worst case scenario. Uh, we are gonna take this to the track again, and I'm probably gonna take everything off of it just for the fun of it to go faster. But for right now, we're gonna do all the testing fully uh, full weight. Uh, we've got the vehicle, the JB4, set back to the stock calibration. So this is pretty much what will run stock. We've done some of these before, but we want to do all of our testing back to back because things are going to change quite a bit uh, based on weather and all that. So what I found out the other day is it seems to launch best in Baja mode. One of the reasons is you don't have traction control on. And any little bump in the road, the traction control is pretty sensitive and probably why they take it off on Baja mode. So we're going to go ahead and line up here in just a second and do our first zero to 60. seven four and a seven three that's pretty good that's actually a little better than I did uh, the other night so some of it has to do with driving maybe and how I'm launching it that's another reason we want to do everything the same day so I'm gonna go ahead and load map one on it and try again So we're up 0 0.3, 0 0.4 uh, in the 0 to 60. Now these are going to vary based on how hot it is and lots of factors, how you launch it, all those sorts of things. So that's why we're doing multiple pulls and we decided to go ahead and limit the, uh, or uh, do the cool, cool downs between the map changes because that only makes it fair. it's heated up so there was about a tenth of a second difference between the baselines and about a tenth of a second difference between the after pulls but in general I'd say we picked up about two tenths now keep in mind that's only on map one uh, that's 91 octane which everybody should be able to get uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load map two which is 93 octane let it cool down for about 15 minutes and try again all right so we let it cool off a little bit we got map two loaded that's a 93 octane tune See what we picked up. We picked up about two tenths on the map one with 91 octane. Obviously, we have 93 octane in it, but you're going to make power based on what maps in it because that's what's affecting the power. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a pull. seem to get a little bit better the more you drive it so that's something to consider yeah it definitely felt a little faster on the second one let's see if I'm right 689 it actually went faster on that one it was the second one so the best is 689 on map 2 6 97 on map one and like 730 ish on a stock so uh, I think we're gonna call that good 
We're gonna go ahead and put some E85 in it and do some zero to 60 testing and some other things, but we're gonna pick that back up in the next video. Okay, we got the exhaust installed and we're gonna show you each different configuration, both at an idle pull away, kind of real light throttle, uh, a mid throttle, and then a wide open throttle from inside and both in the back. And then uh, we'll decide which one we like better. Right now we have the shortest configuration on it, as you can see here in the video. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull away nice and easy. Very mild. Uh, you can hear a little bit of a deeper sound, but very, uh, very close to stock as far as the sound. I can tell you, um, I did remote start the vehicle uh, before this and during cold start, I can definitely hear the vehicle from further away than I could hear before. All right, now we're back to the starting point. We're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing, except I'm gonna pull away with about uh, a third to half throttle so you can hear the exhaust a little bit. Definitely different than stock. Sounds really, really good. Uh, it's kind of difficult to get these EcoBoost V6 uh, engines to sound good. They've been around a long time, but they're really starting to figure it out. Ford has a new exhaust on the F-150 Raptor. That sounds great. And it looks like Magnaflow really did a good job figuring out how to get this thing to sound good. So, we go around one more time, and then we're gonna hear it at what? Now we're gonna go ahead and do a wide open throttle hit and we'll really hear uh, what this exhaust sounds like. Here we go. I'll tell you what guys, this is just about perfect to me. I, you know, I'm a big Mustang guy. I do enjoy loud exhaust. My GT500 is obnoxious, but I certainly don't want my Bronco to sound that way. What this does do is it gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of grunt. You know there's power there, it sounds good, the quality is good, but it's not gonna annoy you. To me, it sounds just about perfect. But remember, this is only one of the configurations, so we're gonna go ahead, change over to the other configuration, and see how that sounds. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pull off really slowly and see what happens. All right, to me at real light throttle, it sounds about the same. I don't really expect a big difference. Let's go ahead and do a half throttle hit and see if we can tell the difference. Now this is gonna be about a third to half throttle. A significant difference to be honest but we may hear it on the back camera so we'll have to watch the video to find out we still have to do one more wide open throttle pull so let's see if that makes much of a difference anyway here's wide open throttle high note there maybe a little bit more like of the higher note rasp just a tiny bit more so let's go ahead and switch over to the other configuration and see what happens the next configuration is on and this one has a little bit of a loop with the, the cap on the end you can see it right here in the picture again we're just gonna do a little uh, light throttle pull away to see if we can hear the difference Again, not much of a difference at light uh, throttle, which is a good thing, right? Again, most people with a Bronco are probably not gonna want it obnoxious like a muscle car, but we are looking for a little bit of a sportier sound. Uh, you know, some people like a deep sound, some people like a little bit more of a racy, raspier sound, and that's what this uh, configuration changes allow you to do. This is part throttle. on that 
one I do hear a little bit of a raspiness between the shifts. All right, here's a wide open throttle pull in this configuration. Again, minor change, but I do hear it. It sounds a little bit more raspy. We are now in the final configuration and we're gonna do a quick pull away at a uh, light throttle again. Anyway, let's go ahead. Again, don't really hear much of a difference inside. Like it, you guys are going on this uh, journey with me. I'm doing all of this before I watch uh, the outside audio. So it's very possible, even though I don't hear much of a difference inside the vehicle, that it sounds good outside. So why don't you go ahead and comment and tell me what you think. Now we're gonna do a part throttle pull away. Here we go. I'd say at the part throttle, I still don't hear a whole lot of difference between the last one. So maybe Watt will really show us what the difference is. Well, what we've been waiting for, the Watt pull on the longest one, and then we'll show you back again, the Watt pull on the shortest one. So let's see what this sounds like. A huge difference uh, like I said inside I can hear very minor differences but it's very very subtle on the inside so I guess I'm gonna go back and listen to the outside ones and then I'll wrap up my final thoughts how about those dyno numbers I was totally shocked at it I haven't really driven the vehicle very much except for on the 93 tune so we're gonna get some ethanol in it put the e tune back on it and take it to the drag strip and also bring you some draggy numbers on that as far as the exhaust I'm gonna leave it how we left it at the end of the video see how I like it for a few weeks and I'll report back to you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get involved in our giveaways like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one.